Hello everyone, my name is Emmanuel Sichivula, producer and presenter of this short film. This film is about the Entrepreneur Co Foundation for the Greater Good, also known as EFFGG and Pump Water Project 2020. The main essence of this project is to provide clean and safe drinking water to African communities. Clean water is a challenge that most Africans face every day of their lives. Waterborne diseases such as typhoid and cholera are among the diseases that claim a large portion of deaths in Africa, mostly affecting infants. But that's where boreholes and hand pumps come in. Firstly, boreholes are the cleanest source of water you can find in Africa as compared to rivers and streams. A hand pump is the best and most affordable way of providing water to a community due to the fact that it's easy to install and maintain. For those of us that don't know what a borehole or a hand pump is, here are some pictures of them. This film is divided into three parts. Part 1 is about borehole drilling and part 2 is about water basin construction and part 3 is about hand pump installation. This project could not have been possible without the help from the following people and organizations. First in line is EFFGG.org, the founder of the project. Visit their website for more information and if you'd like to become a partner. And let's not forget the Van Zoytens, namely Jim Van Zoyten. Tenen Van Zoyten. Eric Van Zoyten. And everyone's favorite, Technicare Cleaning Services. Joseph Sichivula, water engineer, and his family. And lastly, donors and partners of EFFG.org. Welcome to part one. This part is about borehole drilling. For this year's project, 10 boreholes were drilled. Nine within Mufurila Kantanji constituency and one at a remote primary school near Mukambo border. Welcome to part 2. This part is about water basin construction. A water basin is a drainage that prevents water from accumulating around the hand pump.
Welcome to part 3. This part is about hand pump installation. Nine hand pumps are currently installed and the 10th hand pump will be installed very soon. Apart from the 10 hand pumps, a submersible water pump was also installed at a government clinic in Mufurila. Much cleaner. No,
Thanks very much to bring a, a bow here, green water. Thanks very much. Okay. And you are grateful for that. Hmm? Yes. I'm very happy to see this land. You go. Yes, I'm very happy. Zambia through the USA in conjunction with the area member of parliament Kasumba who chose to give us this bow ore which you have been actually waiting for and uh, we are in need of it very much for we like water enough water in our school so it is our privilege that we are among those who have been selected to be given this bow ore. it is our pleasure on behalf actually of the aid teacher and the deputy aid teacher and everyone on scene. Thank you so very much.
for what you have done mm -hmm. for open for our ball in this our community. Mm. And I thank you very much. Mm. Really appreciate because mm. you can even see now the struggles which we are facing is about the mm. water. The water. So it's these challenges. You know, as we have seen, we have a lot of issues. Well, it's now now our community. I'm <laughs>
Hello again. I would just like to say thank you to the people that watched my short film. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.